Yo, welcome back to Urban Street 420. I'm your host, 40. We're doing something different. I'm leaving the door open. I'm wearing a tank top. AC is not on. Let's see how this goes. I'm hoping I sweat less. We are going to make chorizo with cheese shell tacos. What? Not exactly healthy, huh? If you're counting calories, skip this recipe. But if you want to indulge, come on over here. Let's get started, baby. All right, so we're closer. We're gonna mix this up. We're gonna do part time lapse, part not time lapse. We have a flat plate here. This is made, by the way, for an induction stovetop. If you have an induction stovetop like me, unfortunately, I wish I had a gas stove, right? But it is what it is. So then something like this is great because what it will allow you to do is distribute the heat evenly. And what we're going to do is first cook some chorizo, right? I've got some chorizo right here. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this package and I'm gonna take out two of these links, right? We're gonna move the package to the side. We only need two because I'm only gonna make two tacos, huh? We can put this on the napkin for now. What I wanna do is slight, just drag your knife slightly. And what I'm trying to do here is remove the, the casing, right? So you can see the casing is starting to peel off. And can you leave the casing on? You can, but it's gonna, it, it will add some texture that we don't want. So I'm taking it off, huh? Personal preference, leave it on if you desire. Throw that away. And next, as this is heated up, you don't really have to put any oil actually, because the reality is this chorizo has so much oil. It's got so much fat in it. It should grease up the pan, no problem. So we're gonna put this on here like so. And it's not hot enough right now to be sizzling. So unfortunately, huh? I thought I preheated it. I did not. <laughs> Oops. All right, so we're gonna put the knife right here. We are also gonna grab a spatula because we're gonna need to move things around. We also want to get a, where are you? We also probably want a, this type of spatula, right? So as this starts to get going, right, heat it up, we're gonna use this spatula to start breaking this up, right? And all we're trying to do is break it up into smaller pieces. There's no uh, rhyme or reason, doesn't have to be even. Just get in there, smoosh it around, etc. Now the oil that gets left behind we can use because we are going to create our own taco shells out of cheese. Fried taco cheese, sh what? Oof. Now, uh, where exactly can you infuse this if you want? I'm not going to infuse this by the way. Uh, however, you can, and I will talk about where I would probably infuse it if I was gonna make these infused. However, let me st stop talking and let me get these going. Uh, we will speed this up in post and I'll see you guys in a little bit when these puppies are cooked. All right, so what I checked was the temperature of the chorizo. It says it was uh, at 160, so that's great. We're just gonna move this around a little bit more and then we are gonna take it off and we're gonna put it on the paper towel. Why did I put a paper towel? Just to soak up some of the oil uh, and fat and we'll keep it close by. Everything is relatively quick after this, huh? Oof, and this whole thing is hot, huh? This thing does have these uh, little handles I could have put on. <laughs> If not doing it right now does not seem as good as if I had done this before it was hot. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> ah, what a day. Oh, I can't wait to eat these things though. All right, so let's go ahead and take this stuff off. Boom, there we go, here we go. And remember, all of this oil that's on this pan can be used to help fry the cheese, right? So make sure it doesn't stick. Now, uh, like I said, it's not a super healthy recipe. <laughs> And what type of cheese do you want to use? You could use any type of shredded cheese you want. Now, I saw this recipe online. I forgot who uh, made it. Otherwise, I would give this person credit. But uh, yeah, so let's, I don't even know how this is going to come out. I just saw it and I more or less remember the recipe. We're changing a couple things though. So uh, hopefully that doesn't screw anything up. <laughs> and there we go. So we've got our chorizo. It's ready, right? 
Our plate right here is pretty hot. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a couple paper towels, be super careful if you do this, and I'm just gonna soak up some of this oil, huh? Because there is so much. Now mind you, this oil is super hot. You could burn yourself like crazy. So if you do that with your bare hand like I did, be very careful. Okay, so what I've got right here is some shredded cheese. I've got some barbecue sauce, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make one at a time. I've got a plate right here, let's put it down. Uh, we're gonna make one at a time because of the size of this. It's not that big. Now what you wanna do is put out a generous amount of cheese, make sure it's relatively flat, so something like this, and we are going to let this cook for a little bit. And we're gonna try to push in the sides so it becomes one mass, right? Now you don't want a big lump anywhere. If there's a big lump, this thing is not gonna cook properly. Like it won't cook so well in the center. And notice it's starting to bubble up in the middle. That is good, right? So something like this. Now we're gonna take a little bit of barbecue sauce, right? And we're just gonna put a little bit of barbecue sauce in there. That's optional, obviously. And the reason we brought this little flipper is so we could flip it. So let's see how well we could do this, right? All right. I hope I'm not blocking, I know I'm blocking the light a little, I hope I'm not making it too bad. We're gonna turn that puppy over, like so, right? Now what we could do is take some of this chorizo. Mind you, it's hot, huh? If you have sensitive hands, wear some cooking gloves or etc. If you reach in your pan like this, I take no responsibility for you burning yourself. Uh, <laughs> I've been cooking for a while, you know, I take risks. I do hurt myself, I do burn myself, so just be careful, huh? Now we've got stuff for inside the taco here. It's obviously everything is optional. We got cilantro, we got red onion, we've got avocado, we've got some hot sauce over here. And that's what we're going to do. Now, as this is cooking up like so, what we're going to do is fold this, right? In on itself like so. And it was supposed to stay together, but it looks like it's falling apart. Maybe I should have left it for just a little while longer. But it's looking good, yo. It is looking good. Now hopefully it lets me back in there to put some of these, uh, some of the goodness. And I don't know if it's going to, so let's put it in now, right? Because I think this is basically ready. So you don't want to, you don't want to cook it too long with these ingredients in there because we don't really want them cooked or even heated, right? But I'm doing this because the taco is not holding its itself together, right? Keep your, keep it together, taco. We love you. I'm gonna have to send this taco to therapy. I'm just kidding, I'm gonna eat it. It's not going to therapy, baby. So again, we're gonna flip this, turn this like this. We're gonna let it hold its shape. Press down a little bit. One, two, three, four. We love cheesy tacos. I'm not a singer guy. <laughs> Although I'm gonna link it at the top. I, I teach audio and video, or I used to, huh? And there's a video where I do a T-Pain's uh, buy you a drink so I can show people how to use um, the plugin that makes that uh, effect, huh? Anyways, let's go ahead and transfer this puppy over here. Boom, look at that, oh, amazing, huh? Definitely unhealthy, but it looks so tasty. All right, I'm just gonna put that right there. Let's get the second one and we're gonna be good to go, huh? So we're gonna reassociate our plate. Even with this, this is still hot, huh? So be careful. So again, let's try to make this even as far as the height of the cheese is concerned. If it's not even, it will not cook evenly and parts will cook faster than others, etc. Pull the sides in, rinse and repeat, right? Super easy, right? I'm just gonna press this down a bit, which will help get it going, right? Come on, baby! Oof, I'm hungry, huh? You guys are like watching this, I'm hungry too. <laughs> the thing is, I smoked a joint before this, so I'm like, I'm ready to go. <laughs> All right. All right, so we just took that one off. Let's go ahead and turn the burn off. Remember, this pan is gonna be hot for a while. Plus that oil, I definitely burned myself here. So I will feel that later, right? So be careful, guys. Wear kitchen gloves. That's the smartest move. I just like to chance it, huh? <laughs> so check these puppies out, right? We're gonna move the camera back. I'm gonna take a picture of them and let's give them a try, baby. Yo, so we're back. 
and I'm not sweating that much actually. Pfft, surprise, surprise, baby. So I was gonna do this with my hands, but I gotta move the camera, the light. I'm gonna use a fork. Don't tell anybody about this. I kind of feel like I should have my taco card revoked. But forgive me, huh? You know what I think might be nice on this, in this combination? Maybe little slices of mango or pineapple. Oof. Anyway, maybe next time, huh? So if, as you can see, let's dig in. I'm gonna go for the one that's already kinda, because maybe I could eat this with my hand later. I'm gonna go for the one that kinda fell apart a little bit, right? And you'll notice I dressed them up. I added some avocado on top, some hot sauce, a little bit of the onion, uh, some cilantro. That is for presentation only. We already have some inside, so it was fine. But let's give this a try. I'm sure it's gonna be heavenly, baby. <laughs> mm. Oh my goodness. That probably was about 6,000 calories, just that bite. These things are sinful, yo. I mean, you could almost say they're better than sex. Number one, you don't have to cuddle afterward. Number two, they're always in the mood for you. And number three, they'll always be there, baby. Let's have another bite. <sighs> that sounded like the, a note from like a, a scorn lover, right? <laughs> I need to relax. Anyway, let's get in there. Come on, baby. Give me what you got. Mm. <laughs> this is ridiculous, yo. Oh, if you're not worried about calories or your health <laughs> or anything like that, then go ahead and try these. If you're vegan, it probably wouldn't work because I don't know about if a vegan cheese would fry. If you don't like fried cheese, then maybe you won't like it. But it is so good. Oh my goodness. You make this for someone, they are going to bust it. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. You know the deal, baby. Till next time, I'm out.